Shalom, Shalom, Maki. Uh, just coming to do this vid, man. I was just, spirit just came on me. And uh, it's just being in that condition of sluggishness, man. You know, being sluggish. You know, and to be, suck, and to be suck, sluggish, you know, it's, it's like it's for the lack thereof, man. You know, it means to lack, you know. So, uh, but with no further ado, and men of the Lord, you know, it's not a such season as slacking. No such thing as slacking season, you know. But with no further ado, uh, I want to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and peace, greetings, and salutation to the Akims that's pushing this work around the globe in truth and society, and to the true Akims, push on, man, and on. Um, you know, the pushing don't stop, man. You know, regardless of uh, of whether, you know, uh, you've been in this thing, you know, what we would consider to be a small amount of time. I mean, a little, a little a, a, you know, a few, a, a new brother to an old brother to, you know, in a middle brother. I mean, whatever you want to call it, uh, all the way up into our elders, you know, because this thing of ours is not really measured by time, man. Is measured by diligence, you know, and when you and when you really, you know, factor in the fact that, you know, that, you know, they have men that have been in this thing for a while versus, you know, uh, versus brothers who haven't been in it that long, you know, and it's in and, and the race is still, you know. It's still ran in that order, you know, whether you just started racing, whether you've been running, it matters none. The 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 goal and the prize is the, that each man, you know, run the race entirely, man, you know, to to this full degree. But with no further ado, man, and we got, you know, we got to make sure we doing all the work that we could do, man, because, <clears throat> you know, being sluggish, that's a demon, man. You know, and, and, and I found myself, you know, uh, as I speak for myself right here, you know, I just be sluggish, you know, from time to time, time I come to work from work and, you know, it just got the best of me, man. And, and, and you know, not the power to fight against it, but I could use, I, I have energy, you know, to maybe get up and maybe talk or do something like that, man. But, you know, I wouldn't find the energy to be able to serve the Lord, man. And, um. Uh, and that's not to say that that's an everyday thing, but I just found myself doing it this time and I kind of caught it, you know, and uh, and recognized it, you know. So I just did a vid based upon it. But with no further ado, let me dive into it, man. This uh, Proverbs 6, and um, I'm going to start at 6 and read down to 11. It says, Salakia. It says, go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Which having no God, overseer or ruler. Because we, the men of the Lord, we got an over God. We got a God, an overseer and a ruler that told us what to do and how to do it. Man, of course, you got to balance all things. And, um, you know, you got to juggle it. You got to juggle all things, man. But at the end of the day, we got a ruler that told us what to do. We got a job to do. You all right? So, once you've been given a task or, or your occupation, you know, and you've been given your tools to do the work, then you got to do the work from them, man. You know, you can't expect whoever gave you the tools, you know, to do the job for you, man. You know, you you have been hired to uh, serve that purpose. It says, provided her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest. All right. So. <clears throat> And it says, how long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When thou, when will thou arise out of sleep? All right. So, you know, this can be talking about uh, actual sleep or, 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 or you know, or, or, or just basically like sleepwalking, man. You know, when you up, you finding other things to do besides that, which is of the Lord, man, especially if you supposed to be on that which is of the Lord, man, and you still find excuses to do your job. You know, we all understand, we all work, and we, and we, you know, we have responsibilities, man, but at the end of the day, this is our true responsibility. 
So this should be first above all, man. You know, even before our jobs, man, you got to make sure you doing the work of the Lord, regardless to whatever it is. All right. Yeah. If you don't work, you don't eat. Yeah. If you don't get this word and it push this word out, the Lord going to kill your ass, too, man. You know, that's just what it is. And the work is not just hitting the highways, man. The work is your homework at home, the reading, the videos, uh, supping with brothers. I mean, it's 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 the whole nine, man. And, you know, if you in this troop, man, you're supposed to know the rules of the game, right? If you're playing the game, you got to know, you know, what the troop, what it all consists of. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be a 100% superhero, you know what I'm saying? But you got to do the best you could do, man. And, and, and you can't teach effort. Effort got to just be there. So uh, as this vid going to be about is slothfulness and sluggishness, you know, that's, that's, that's effortless, man. You know, that's an effort thing, man. You know, so if you can't get that in the way it need to get in, man, come on, man. That's a that's a demon that's on you, man. You know, it says. uh, Get a little sleep and a little slumber and a little folding of the hands to sleep. You know, that's when. <clears throat> that's when you're going to bring basically you're going to bring issues upon yourself, man. All right. It says. So shall thy poverty come as one that travail it and thy want as an armed man. All right. So shall your poverty come. All right. So you're going you, you, you gonna to bring up, bring up on you with your sleep and your slumber, man. You know, you're going to bring issues up on yourself, man. And what I mean by issues, that's even with because we sleep and slumber in the real world dealing with our jobs and and, and and things of that nature are the things that we want to do versus the things that we should be doing, then it's consequences for it, right? Repercussions, man. So it ain't going to be no getting around nothing, man. This Proverbs, I'm going to stay in Proverbs and pretty much wear it out because uh, it's good wisdom. This Proverbs 20 and 4, it says the sluggard will not plow by reasons of, of the cold. Therefore shall he beg in the harvest and have nothing, but the reasons of the cold is the excuse. And most, you know, most men, at the end of the day, you know, when you're not really doing the work, it's going, at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to excuse. There's nothing else you can use, really, that'll, sub, that'll subdue doing the work, man. You, you can't come with no excuse you got to be excuseless in the truth. Excuse, excuseless, excuseless, man, you know? Now, you know, I'm not being a super righteous Israelite, but at the end of the day, man, you know, if you put forth effort, you know, it's going to show, man. And if, you, and, you, and if it be effortless, that's going to also show as well, man. So, you know, and men of the Lord are always watching, man. You know, men around you are watching, you know, other men are watching, man. So it's, it's, it's evident if you're doing the work, you know, wholeheartedly or not, man. You know, or putting forth effort, man. It says, therefore shall he beg in the harvest and have nothing. Yeah, man. A, 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 a man of, of a, a, a wise man, you know, he gather up all his fruits and, and food and drink that he need, man. In due season. You know, he get his meat in due season because... Doing the um doing the cold, you know, it's it would be fucking brick cold, freezing cold, man. Who won't work in 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 in, in, in conditions like that, man? Be times I'd be at work working in the rain, man. You know, who won't work in the rain, man? Your, your socks wet, your whole body wet, man. Come on, man. You're walking in mud. There's a lot of conditions and hazards you gotta deal with, man. So you gotta be able to uh you know, you gotta be able to um hit the forefront. Of, of 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 effort, man, and, and build thereof, you know? You got to be on top of effort, man, you know? Because the lack thereof, man, is, 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 is excuseless. I'm going to go to uh, 13. It says, love not sleep, least thou come to poverty. Yeah, you're going to become poor, man, you know? And that's another form of right there, once again, 
uh, that's another form of, of uh, that sleep right there, man. You know, oversleeping, sleepwalking, you know, you out here, man, you sleeping. Like they got a terminology, nigga, like, man, you sleep out there, huh? So is you really sleep Why he telling you that? No, you're not really sleep, man. It's just that you lacking, man. All right? It's a sense of lacking, man. You know? And when you have been uh, called to do something that consists of um, uh, that consists of um, consistency, man, you know, uh, you're going to get called out on your lacking, man. That's just what it is, bro. There ain't nothing you could do about that. But get it together, you know. This Proverbs 19 and 15, it says, Slothfulness casting into a deep sleep. Yeah, in a trance, man. And it'll have you in, it, it, it will imprison you inside of it, man. You know when you go into a deep sleep, man, that's a trance, man. Only way you get out of that is if you get woke up out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it says, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger, man. That means you're going to go without, man. It's just that simple, bro. Men of the law can't have no excuses, man. And this why, man, because it hinders the it hinders the body, man. Every man is a part of the body, man. Whether he's a small part or integral part, a large part, or a huge part, man. This is why. This is Proverbs eighteen and nine. It says, "He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster, man." You see that, man? That's a destroyer to his brother, man. He destroying his brother also, man, who 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 uh uh have taken arms with him, man, and, and, and like like tug of war, man. You know, if you pulling a rope, it's five men on each side, and both of y'all are pulling a rope, and and one man out of the five on, on your side decide to um, you know, let not pull as hard as the other men, man, then that's gonna be a uh that's going to create a, um, a balance towards the other side that if all five men are pulling, man, and they're going to pull us in the water or the mud or whatever stands in the middle between us, man. You know? Let me read that again. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him. Waster, man. You see that, man? You might as well go just... Let go of the other side of the five men that's pulling the rope and just go on the other side and give them six men and give us and let us have the four, man. And let the other four pull with all they might, man. That's it, man. Go just play for the other team. This Proverbs 10 and 4. It says, he become a poor that deal with a slack hand. You see that? So if you slacking, you know, and you supposed to be building, man, then. I mean, it's no, the distinguish between, when you distinguish between the two, man, you, it's nothing good could come out of that, man. All right? Ain't no the Lord understand this and that, man. I mean, you know, we go through trials and tribulations, man. But, hey, you still got to do the work. This is what you signed up for. Well, the Lord understand what I'm going through right now, this and that, man. That's an excuse. That's excuses, really. And that's to me or to any argument. That's an excuse. The Lord understand, but the Lord still come first, man. Regardless to whatever we say, man. To whatever we come up with, the law comes first. The law of works come first, man. Period, man. It comes before work. It comes before everything, man. Meaning that's not to say you don't go to work and do this. But, hey, 
you know, like he's, you know, give, give, give this world was ever of this world, but give the Lord was of the Lord, man. All right, that's it, man. And that come first, man. And it says, but the hand of the diligent make rich. And and we are already the poor, but the hand of the diligent make rich. And to be diligent is to enrich our spirits, man. To be diligent in enriching our spirits. Because um, <clears throat> the the all the poor have on this side is is uh, is these spirits, man. You know, all they can build up is these spirits, you know, because you know. This world has nothing to offer to them, man. So they're making they uh they're making they spirits to dwell, man. I mean, uh, to um enhance, man, to enhance their spirit, man, by getting this spiritual, doing this spiritual work, eating this spiritual food, and drinking this spiritual water, man. It says, "He that gather it in the summer is a wise son, because is 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 a more pleasant time, man." Is more fit, sufficient for work in the summertime, man. You know, in the cold, you could barely move your body parts, man. It says, but he that sleeping and, har and harvest is a son that causes shame, man. I mean, yeah, hey, that's just to the point, man. Slacking, man. Sluggish, man. Sloth one business, man. You got to be on point with this shit, man. This Rome is 12 and 11. Jump ships real quick. It says, not slothful in business. All right. What is the business we go about? What is this business? This business, the business is the truth, man. All right. Items who've been in the truth or even new brothers coming in. Uh, the business is the truth, period, man. That's what you looking to flourish in, man. All right. Fervent in spirit. The spirit is this word, man. All right. Hot in this word, man. Being on fire in this word, man. Serving the Lord. All right. Pleasing the Lord, man. Doing that which is that that is pleasurable to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah, man? All right, it's just to that point. That's what you gotta do, man. And if you and if and if you slow for in business, when you're supposed to be out there on um, uh, gathering the meat in the summer, and when winter hits your ass, trust me, it's gonna really get you, man. And that's why the scriptures say that. This Mark thirteen and eighteen, it says. And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. <laughs> At the same time, like I read in uh, uh, Proverbs, man, when it says, uh, it's a lot here. the slugger will not plow by the reason of the coal. You know, hey, you ain't going to get out there. The father put you right in the midst of everything and Jacob's trouble in the cold, man. When you know you ain't gonna do nothing, man. So that which you you didn't fight against, man, it beat you up, huh? You know? So we gotta get up and fight against our our slothfulness, our sluggishness, man. You know, that's a spirit, that's a that's a I mean that's a demon that's on us, man. We gotta pray that off us, man. We gotta work it off us, you know? We gotta combat that. You know, and that just be what it is. But uh let's see. Yeah, close with this one. I got a little lengthy, man, but uh, that sluggish shit got to go, man. That shit, that's a demonic spirit that just hang around, man. This Proverbs 22 and 13, I close it with this one. It says, the slothful man said, there is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. Meaning, look, man, that's, this plane is deep. This is an excuse, man. All right, this is what the slothful man see. Got excuse after excuse after excuse, man. It's like uh, you know, like the movie say, man, a man don't don't make make mistakes, man, or have excuses, man. Women and children do, man. You know, so that's what it is, man. <laughs> 
The slothful man said, there is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. But at the end of the day, if his crown or his food or, 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 or some, something that he desired to have, man, was out there and that lion was out there, he'll go out there and battle with that lion and get it, man. So why do you have to go out there to battle with a lion and get it when the scripture's telling you, look, go out there before the lion get out there, man, and get what you got to get so you could get inside and be out of harm's way, man. You know, so that was the narrative of this whole, basically this whole, um, let's sit down, man, is to basically do what you have to do, man, you know, before, before you are forced to do what you have to do, man, and then calamities can take hold of you, man, all right? It's not using wisdom. You're not using wisdom, you know, allowing calamities to come to be in play, man, when you could avoid it all, all, all risks and, 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 and detrimental tragedies that could have that could basically come upon you, man, because now you have to go out there, man. Or you waited, you waited and you you bought time or you done whatever you chose to do when you should have been doing what you needed to do, man. But with that, I can, you know, I hope that was edifying and um uh <clears throat> it uh edified the body accordingly, man, and um, you know, to you know, eight to each his own, man. What don't apply, you let fly, man. But um, you know, if you if you're dealing with a sluggish spirit or, or a slothful or, or or a slothful demon on you, man, you know, you just gotta pray to the Lord, man, and you gotta handle your business, man. You know, we all men, man. We we really don't need to be told what to do, man. You know, the scriptures give you guidance. And um uh uh you know and it give you leadership to understand that you have to be a leader, man. You know, in your own way, man. You know, and you you have to be the leader of your own self, man. You know, guided by these scriptures, older brothers, you know, the elders like that, man. But hey, you know, every man better your own burdens, man. Understand that. So with that arguments uh until the next time I'm gonna say, Shalom.